So here's a question that probably no one has asked except for myself, is that if I'm using the Polaroid Now Plus, which offers manual control using the Polaroid app, instead of using the shutter release on the app itself when using manual control, could I actually use the shutter release on the camera and rely on it to be using the settings on the app itself? So this is, as far as I can see, no, made nowhere clear on the Polaroid site or certainly in their uh, instructions, any instructions you can find for the camera. Uh, so I thought I'd better give this a little bit of a, a test. I had been doing informal tests and it was really quite inconclusive. Uh, so this is a little bit more of a formal uh, test to see what works and what doesn't work. So here we are. I'm right now at a Cinnaboyne Park in Winnipeg and that's the the rather elegant footbridge that crosses from uh, one side of the Cinnaboyne River to this side which is the uh, the main part of the uh, Cinnaboyne Park and what I'm doing is I'm going to take a series of pictures what I did is I based the exposure on the concrete piers right here that being the brightest part of the subject and I took that reading with my Asahi Pentax spot meter 5 and you can see here that the range of shutter and f-stops that I could possibly use I'm using settled on f64 at 1 60th of a second and then what I did is I set that up in the manual control on my Polaroid app which I can't show you because I'm actually using the camera to take these pictures and then I started taking a series of pictures and the first set of pictures was using the shutter release on the camera itself. So here we go. Here we have the first picture right here. And this picture was taken at uh, F64 at 1 60th of a second. Check, check my notes in the back. I always write my notes in the back and also number the pictures to keep them straight. And you can see I used the camera shutter for that one. So that turned out a little bit on the light side. I took another picture, this time with the app set at f64 at 125th of a second, again using the camera shutter. And you can see there's basically no difference in the exposure at all. In other words, the camera does not seem to, the camera shutter does not seem to be conveying the information uh, from the app to the camera. So let's try it one more time. Here I, I reset my app to f64 at 1 60th of a second. Let's see here. And in this case, what I did is I used the app shutter, which by the way is extremely awkward because somehow you have to, you have to be holding the camera, focusing, not focusing, but uh, composing your picture. Uh, and at the same time, uh, trying to find the red button on your app uh, which you're holding in your other hand. So it's a holding the camera with one hand, your app with the other hand, one eye looking through the viewfinder, the other eye sort of somehow wiggling to take a look at the, the, at the, um, at the app on your iPhone. All, all trying to take the picture at the, all at the same time. And you can see this is why it would be really nice if I could use this shutter release on the camera instead of having to uh, do that awkward manipulation with the app exposure anyways let's go back here so this is the first exposure as i said this is the settings as i found them and and you can see here that the light has changed we're already uh, uh at least 45 minutes later and the light the sun has shifted dramatically however you can see that the uh, that the uh, concrete is still receiving full sun it's still if i was to read this with my meter it would still have the same uh, reading uh, on the concrete as it did with this very first picture. Anyway, so that's the first one. At You can see it's a little bit on the dark side. The second one, what I did is I opened it up, F64 at 130th on the app, and then I used the app shutter to take the exposure, and lo and behold, it is a one stop brighter than the original picture here. So that's a little bit on the better side. I decided to try one more time. This time uh, I opened the shutter up one more speed. So now this one's at f64 at 115th of, a, 115th of a second. And you can see, yes, lo and behold it is. 
uh, one stop brighter than than the previous shot. So I've got a good range here. And so what this is now telling me is that the that the shutter is working only when it's you're using it on the app and not when you're using it on the camera, which is uh, a little bit of a bummer, unfortunately. So anyways, uh, just to let you know that that's the experiment. Uh, and if you find yourself out using the, the Polaroid Now Plus uh, and you're trying to use manual control, uh, probably the best scenario is to set up your Now Plus on a tripod uh, so that then you can uh, mani manipulate the, uh, the app a little bit more easily. Anyways, I hope that's helpful to someone out there other than just me. Um, until next time, uh, keep on shooting and whether it's a Now Plus or a Mint 670S or whatever you might be having to be using. Toodaloo.